Hi viewers, welcome to my channel Lila Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to debug the Angular build files. That means when we try to run this ng build command, the files have that are been created, right? The runtime.js, main.js, these are all the files. Now, if you want to debug those Angular build files, how we can do that one? So what is the code that are actually existing in that Angular build files? Let's try to see in this video. In the previous video, we have seen what are the files that are going to be created in it when we run this angular ng build command. The files will be runtime main.js, vendor.js, styles.js, styles.css, polyfills.js. These are all the files that are going that are created when we run this ng build command. Now we will try to debug this one. So we need to know that what are actually the code existing in these files if you want to know that in that bundle, bundle files means. So what are the things I need to do? So let's try to see in this video. Now the first uh, first one is we looked at the different files that are created. Now let's explore the files. What are the contents that each one has? Let's try to see that one. There are few tools that I commonly use. So then uh, for in order to debug that uh, bundle files or the build files. So normally I will be using few tools will be there. Only two tools will be there that I commonly use. So these tools gives you the details what actually the content has in the bundle files. That means these tools will give you the details what actually the content that means what actually the code will it will be existing in those bundle files. So these tools will give you an analyzation analyze of that one. So let's try to see those tools. <clears throat> Normally when the code get rolled up in the bundles that means when the code got built into a bundle files something like runtime JS these are things it is hard to tell us what is the code that is actually existing in that bundle. So we cannot know that what is the code actually built and what where the code has went into the files we need to know so this is very hard if you see that build files now and also we'll be getting a doubt that did the bundles get the actual files and code i am using so you 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 may get a doubt in such a way that when it is building did the bundling files has already has actual files what are the code i have written the actual files are code so that i am using so did it get bundled or not you want to know and it will be really nice if you want to see those see those things. Now the tools that I will commonly you will be using is the first one is the Webpack Bundle Analyzer, and the second one is the Source Map Explorer. So these are the two tools that I commonly use in when I am doing the uh, what I can say then I doing the debugging or anything. This is not only for the re, uh, Angular, this can I React or Vue.js also we can use this Webpack Bundle Analyzer. These all things. First, we will see the Webpack Bundle Analyzer. What is this Webpack Bundle Analyzer? Now, in order to use this Webpack Bundle Analyzer in your Angular project or app, first we need to install the tool as a dev dependency. So this is as we are using for the development purpose. So we can install this one as a dev dependency. The command for that one is npm install webpack hyphen bundle hyphen analyzer space hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev. So this is the command we need to enter so we need to run this command as a dev dependency after running this command so it will install the webpack bundle analyzer as a dev dependency then after install after after installing the tool next we need to build the angular code using this command ng build hyphen hyphen stats hyphen json so this is the command we need to build after installing that webpack bundle analyzer so you need to understand that so this is the command we need to run in order to get the analyzer analyze of the code using webpack bundle analyzer. This command will analyze your bundle and we can see all the dependencies that are used in that Angular application. So this command, this is the command. So below is the command after running the ng build space hyphen hyphen stats hyphen json. So this is the line you need to execute after finishing that one. npx space webpack hyphen bundle hyphen analyzer and you need to give space dist slash my app. So this is the output directory path. So this can be very according to the according to our angular.json file. So output directory and you need to do the stats.json. So this will give you a visualized map of this one. What are all the dependencies that are there in the bundles in the different bundles. Now we can see all the dependencies in the visualized map. So this is the thing I can tell you. This tool uses the webpack stats file to explore the bundle. Okay, this is first one. What is that one? Webpack bundle analyzer. And the second tool is the source map explorer. Now this source map explorer, this is another tool. This uses the source map. Instead of using the stats file, this uses the 
source maps to create the visualized map. So this is the main difference between the those two files. Webpack bundle analyzer uses the stats file and whereas this source map explorer uses the source map file. Are you already know aware of the source maps file? The command for installing the second tool is the npm install source-map-explorer and this one is also a development dependency. So npm install source-map-explorer-save-dev And after installing that package in your dev dependency, then we need to just normally build the command ng build. So this is the command we will be running. And, and after that one, so you need to after building, after successful build of the application, you need to Type the command npx space source hyphen map hyphen explorer and the file. What is the file you want to analyze? So using the source map of this main.js, it will give you what are all the bundles that are available in this main.js file. Okay, each file you need to give it like this npx source hyphen map hyphen explorer. So whatever the file you want to explore, you can give the JS file. So this command will analyze your bundle. <coughs> now you we have seen how to install and how to use these two tools right webpack bundle analyzer and also the source map explorer now first tool use as i already told you that first tool uses the webpack stats file and the second tool uses the source map files so these are the main difference between those two tools now when comes to the stats thing okay fine so we will be building that one using the command ng space build and with an option hyphen hyphen stats hyphen json so that is okay fine we can leave it but whereas the source maps so when when it comes to the source map the source maps are enabled by default in the development build. If you try to observe, when you try to build an application in a development build, the source maps will be enabled by default. So there will be no problem for us in order to analyze your, your code using the source map explorer. But whereas in the production mode, if you want to debug the production code, then you need to enable the source map. Okay, you need to enable the source map manually because it will be not enabled by the default why it will be not enabled by the default so source map give you the way to debug your code so that is the reason in the production mode to keep the code rock solid and also secure and also it should be very lean and mean right it should be very file size should be very decreased and it should be less for lesser file size because of that reason so in the production mode the source map will not be enabled by default we need to enable it by by manually so this is the main thing between the source map uh, explorer and also another one is the webpack analyzer webpack bundle analyzer so these are the two tools where we can debug the code and we can see what are the dependencies that are existing in an angular build files and this is all about these tools in the next video we will see the practical implementation of those webpack bundle analyzer and also the source map ex explorer how those two things will be uh, uh, building and also how the how the two tools will give you the visualized map of those things let's try to see it so hope you understood about these two tools how to debug the angular build files if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and also if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you